Ah, my friends, let us wander together through the desolate fields, where dreams lie submerged in water's embrace. These are not merely cars, nor are they simply machines. They are the embodiment of human passion, creativity, and the unrelenting pursuit of excellence. Um, yet here they sit, victims of nature's power, a reminder that all things, no matter how finely crafted, are impermanent. Look at the GT3 RS, a chariot of precision, grace, and speed. To see it standing still is a lesson in humility. It is a reminder that no matter how mighty one appears, there is always a force greater, whether it be a storm or the tide of life itself. And what of the Ford GT? Its presence is an ode to innovation, now cloaked in quietude, urging us to value what we create before it is claimed by time. The classics, those vessels of nostalgia, each with its own story etched in steel and chrome, whisper to us. The Mustang, the DeVille convertible, the Avanti, each asks, how will you preserve the beauty of the past while embracing the present? There is heartbreak in their abandonment, but also an opportunity for redemption, a chance to restore what seems lost. Consider the flooded R32 skyline, its components stripped, yet its essence intact. It speaks to resilience, a lesson that even in loss, one retains the potential to rise again. Nearby a prowler waits, a car that was always a dream for many. Its design is a meditation on audacity, a call to live boldly, even when the outcome is uncertain. But let us not forget the stories that surround these relics. One man rebuilt his GMC from the ruins of a flood, creating not just a vehicle, but a testament to perseverance. Another saw opportunity in a flooded charger, transforming it into something greater than it once was. These acts are not merely about cars, they are about the human spirit, the unyielding will to adapt, to rebuild, and to thrive. Even amidst the debris, there is wisdom. The automatic lowering of windows in new cars to aid escape during floods reminds us that innovation often arises from foresight. Yet the tragedy of such moments also asks us to reflect. Are we prepared for the storms that life brings? The field of flooded exotics, from Lamborghinis to Ferraris, may seem like a waste, a symbol of excess laid low, but perhaps it is also a mirror asking us to confront our attachments. Do we cherish things for their essence or for their allure? Can we learn to let go when the tide demands it? Let us take from this not sorrow, but a resolve to find meaning in impermanence. Whether we restore these cars or honor their memories, we carry forward the lessons they impart. They teach us to strive, to cherish, and to remember that even in stillness there is value. For like the storm that brought them here, life is a cycle, and it is up to us to determine what we create from what is left behind.